My name is David Boyer. I'm a scientist, a French nuclear physicist, and I'm also the chairman of ACRO, which is a French non-governmental organization that operates a laboratory that monitors radioactivity in the environment. And this laboratory was created just after the Chernobyl disaster. So our study is related to the E40 waterway that is projected to link the Black Sea to the Baltic Sea, and especially that should cross the Chernobyl exclusion zone and pass just at the foot of the Chernobyl nuclear reactor. And this zone is, is the most contaminated place in the world in terms of radioactivity, and then there is a potential threat from this radioactivity. And this is, was the main purpose of our study. So, in order to conduct this assessment of the E40 waterway, we divided the works into three places. First was inside the Chernobyl exclusion zone, and we checked mainly the impact on workers. And we also checked the impact of pop on population living downstream the exclusion zone. And also we checked the impact for population living upstream the exclusion zone. So for the first part of the study dedicated to workers inside the exclusion zone, we found out that the exposure dose will reach almost the maximum allowed in Europe, which is somehow incredible levels. If you compare this to nuclear workers in France or even nuclear workers at the Fukushima disaster, these are those that are quite higher. So this is not acceptable and this makes this E40 waterway impossible to build in this part. Also, in the exclusion zone, there are this cooling pond that is extremely contaminated, and there are many radioactive waste storage places that might be inundated after the a dam is built, and that will mean more radioactivity released into the Pripyat and then into the Dnieper River. For population living downstream the exclusion zone, we should keep in mind that there are 8 million people directly drinking the water from the Dnieper River and 20 million people eating food that was irrigated with the water of the Dnieper River. And for this population, there will be two phases. First, the construction world, which means construction work inside the exclusion zone that will liberate a big amount of radioactivity that will be carried downstream. And also, once the work is finished, if it is finished, then dredging will be necessary every year. And dredging means taking deep sediments that are highly contaminated and bring them back in contact to water, means a new release of radioactivity that will also affect the, drink, the quality of the water, drinking water for downstream population and the quality of the food for downstream population. And for the upper stream part, if the connection of the Pripyat River upstream, the exclusion zone, is not possible to the Dnieper, there's no reason to build this E40 waterway because there is no connection anymore with the Black Sea. So the, as any work with a, with, that will have a big impact, a large impact on the environment and on the health of the population, there should be a, an assessment done before. And this assessment should be evaluated by third bodies and also submitted to the public. And that uh, was not done. And the main conclusion of our study is that this construction work should not be done.